So changes to the spine shots. There seems to be a lot of confusion and a lot of comments coming in asking me to explain exactly what's happened. So that is what I'm here to do today. Since I uploaded uh, what was meant to be today's video last night, so anybody on the beta could use that loadout, I thought why not just do a quick explanation video today. So I've come to Leighton Lakes just so there's no lions or anything for distraction. Uh, and what I'm going to do is try to display what the changes are, and I'll actually just explain them first before we do any kind of shooting, so hopefully it makes sense, and then if any clarification is needed, hopefully the shots do that. Now I do want to say that this change is only currently active on the beta, so if you're not in the beta or once the beta is over, this change will not be taking place. It only is going to happen when the lion patch is dropped sometime in the future. It's not going to be for a while yet, so you don't need to go for any of these things yet, but just be aware they are going to be changed in the future. So what the changes are is that we now have a spinal cord that runs through the entire neck and the entire spine of all the animals. If you hit that spinal cord, you'll still get the instant drops, much like we have on the spine shots for the past two years in the game. But if you only hit the vertebrae, the actual bone that covers the spinal cord, you are only going to get a flesh wound. That vertebrae hit will be more damaging than a normal bone hit, something like a shoulder blade or a hip bone, but it will not be nearly as effective as the old spine shots. So basically, to make it simple, we now have two organs in the spine. We have the actual vertebrae, and we have the spinal cord. Spinal cord makes them drop. Vertebrae does not. So I hope that makes sense. The other change is that we have double lung shots being made much more effective in that it takes 60% longer before any quick kill starts to go away. So I think Blacktail are going to be a decent test here on Late Lake. I don't know, uh, but we're going to try it. Let's say on the main game without the beta, I think a 243 a double lung shot on a Blacktail, I know it doesn't get 100%, but it gets like decent quick kill. So what's going to happen is like, let's let's just make it somewhat simple. Now, these are not the actual numbers, so just be aware it doesn't actually work exactly like this, but I think this is going to be the easiest way for it to make sense. So let's say, before this update, a double lung shot with a 243 on a blacktail would take 10 seconds of it running off before any quick kill starts to diminish. Now, with the 60% longer change, it would now take 16 seconds before any quick kill starts to diminish. That's a long time, another 6 seconds before any quick kill would go away. Now, again, it's not actually 10 seconds, but it's 60%. That's a lot. So the double lung shots are going to be way more effective. That's why we did the loadout video on Verhunga, and that is why a lot of things are going to need to be changed. And also, I will just say I'm out here on Layton. I think they changed the moose. It does not feel overrun by moose. Now I'm going to be hunting it a little more. I'll let you know. But let's go take some shots and try to display what I just talked about. So we have a whitetail doe here. And if we go for a neck shot, I can hit that spinal cord in the neck and still get the same drop that we used to. But the difference is that if we only got the vertebrae in the neck, which I'll try to show in a moment, it's not going to drop them. That is going to be the biggest change and has to really make us think about the shots that we're taking. But let's just take a look here. You can see I've got middle neck and cervical spinal cord. That's the neck spinal cord. Now, it's hard to see the difference uh, unless you actually hit the spinal cord. It'll light, light up along here without hitting the vertebrae because obviously the vertebrae blocks it. But you have to hit that cord to actually get the drop shot. All right, so now I want to show the changes to the vertebrae. I would say most people have either seen a video or taken a shot on the spine of a moose in the past and have seen the vertebrae shots work. But now with these changes, we'll go ahead and use the 338, go for just the vertebrae, which is more towards the top. You can see he definitely took a hit there, and he is going to run off. Now, the only way I can show you is to go find him and shoot him again and make a proper shot. But we'll do that, and hopefully I get to see that the vertebrae is hit and that he doesn't go down. Now, he might actually die from that. As said, the vertebrae shots do more damage. I'm not sure on a moose yet. I haven't tried it. But one way or another, we'll be able to see that the vertebrae was hit and that he didn't drop. It actually looks like he died on his way back, which is pretty much making sense because he would have ran and then decided to try to get back to his zone as animals do in this game. But you can see the vertebrae was hit. Shoulder blade and thoracic vertebrae, no spinal cord, 0% quick kill. That's with the 338. so biggest gun ethical for moose, vertebrae hit, no quick kill. So that is the change to the spine shots. Now let's go look at the changes to the actual double lung shots, which is basically what we're now going to be going for much more often. Actually, since you're just stuck there, can you stop doing that real quick? There we go. A little bit of a weird angle, but you see her percentage dropping in the right 
uh, box there very quickly, and she's down already. Now, I'm not sure the 338 got decent quick kill on Moose Double Lung before. I don't know that it was 100%, but it would be 60% longer regardless of whether it was 100% or not till the quick kills started diminishing. That is 100% though with a double lung shot at 40 meters with the 338. As said, I'm not sure if that was already the case, so I'm going to go find a blacktail because I know that was not the case with the 243 double lung hit. All right, now, these blacktail were giving me a bit of a uh, an issue where they didn't want to actually sit still, so I had to do that. Pretty much figured out what he was going to do and eventually took the shot. Now, I think that's double lung. His quick kill went down around the same speed or maybe even quicker than a lion's does, but then again, a lion is bigger. Uh, so that doesn't necessarily mean too much in terms of how much quick kill we are going to have. But I'm very interested to see what just happened here. As long as it was double lung, uh, that's about as well as we can do with the double lung shot. A decent range as well. Maybe, I don't know what that was, 110 meters maybe? Medium bleed rate, and he's right there. It'll be solid. I, I don't know that it's going to be 100. It might just be. I really hope it is. I really do. That would make the game so much more realistic in that sense. 99 at 115 meters. So any closer than that, and we actually would have 100%, I would say. Now, I know it wasn't that high, especially at that range, taking a double lung shot on a black tail with the 243. So that's good to know. If you get under 100 meters, I would bet it's going to be 100%. All right, I just have to mention this before we actually go for the shot. I hope it's not a fluke uh, because I've got a different population going than I would have on the main game because this is a beta server, but I think Leighton is going to be back to how it used to be. I haven't had Blacktail like this uh, at this lake here in Chila in forever. I've got ducks here on the lake. I don't know that I've ever seen a duck on this lake, and I've been in Balmont. I've been in other areas on the map. Moose seem to be back to how they were, man, almost a year ago before the rabbit update, so I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here as well. It looks like there are other changes uh, that are very positive, but let's get over here. Let's get a shot at one of these bucks. I don't really care which, although I'd like that one. Uh, and we'll see if we can get a 100 meter or less shot to get 100%. I think I have to go for this one. He's so perfectly broadside. He's not the biggest. I'm actually going to let him pick his head up because I think we're going to have a little less shoulder blade potentially in our way. All right. I believe that is going to be double lung. His percentage is dropping pretty quickly. I don't know if that's going to do much better. Now, I do know that females tend to get slightly better quick kill than males. I've seen that on Moose in the past. Uh, with 270 heart shots, I've gotten like 99% on a male and then 100% on a female at the same range. But also, uh, you can have like a little bit of variance. So that shot we had earlier that was 99%, we could take the exact same shot on the exact same animal and sometimes get 100, sometimes get 98, uh, or different variations. But we have on this guy 100% on a double lung shot using the 243. So you can see that does work now. And I think maybe the last question that must be answered here is, what does this mean for diamonds going forward? Everybody wants to get diamonds in this game, and these changes are actually going to be quite impactful. I think the first thing is that there are going to be some diamonds that are now easier to get than others. I think things like Lion, as we've seen in the beta, uh, Gimsbuck, uh, let's see, Wildebeest, we're all double lung shots, 100% quick kill, no worries. Uh, and then we had Warthog with our loadout video where you need heart or brain if you're using the 243. Uh, we have the Blacktail here where you're not sure you're getting 100%. Maybe you want to go for heart or brain on that. So there's going to be some animals that you need to make a better shot on than others to really guarantee the 100% quick kill. And it's also going to mean you're going to really want to uh, carry specific weapons for maybe diamonds that you don't yet have in my case or diamonds that you think you're maybe more likely to run into. So, uh, let's say on Verhunga, if you're really after a Diamond Warthog, maybe carry the 270 instead of the 243. But the other thing that I really think is important is the double lung shot change is going to make bows way more powerful. They were already insane. That extra 60% on the quick kill uh, when you're taking a double lung shot, it's really going to make bows ridiculous. Like, they were already so good. Uh, at getting animals with a double lung shot, now they're just going to be even better. So I think we really do need to reconsider bows into some of our loadouts because the spine shots have been nerfed and the lung shots are much more effective. But let me know what you guys think about all this. I am really happy with it. And also the changes to Leighton that I've seen, I hope that is uh, part of this beta and not just a fluke because I, I really would love to see uh, Leighton as it is now not overrun by Moose here in the beta. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this cleared everything up. 
and I'll see you next time.